Welcome to My Life and Coasters, where today I'm going to be unboxing the Wolfang GA200 action camera. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, just like an action camera, you can use it for all sorts. Um, yeah, and today I'm going to be unboxing this Wolfang one. So I'll start off then by taking a look at the box. Uh, as we can see, uh, let's make life more fun, that seems to be their slogan. Uh, yeah, and I'm going to start off by opening this box here using this... Um, well, flap. See if I can get it open. There we go. Um, yeah. And then if we lift this lid up, it's very premium packaging. Uh, we've got some support. Uh, yeah, we've got a product warranty for two years. Uh, worth noting where I bought this from, Amazon. Um, you could actually buy insurance for four pounds and fifty nine pence for two years. Um, I'll get to the price of this uh, a bit later on. Uh, right, lift this up then. We've got the instructions, it seems, so I'll take a look at them in a minute. It's worth noting I've not really got a clue with cameras or anything like that. Um, but yeah, uh, here we go, user manual. Actually, I think English would be good. Yeah, I have actually had one very similar, if not the same one of these before. Um, I love how it has to say there in the instructions, avoid dropping the camera. Uh, I'm using. Uh, yeah, and then you've got the quick start guide here as well. They do all sorts, but yeah, here's what's included. There's loads. Uh, it doesn't come with the chest mount, but it does come with all sorts. I think it even comes with the head strap, but uh, yeah, I have actually purchased a uh, head strap. I'll get onto the price of this uh, quickly. Um, it was on Amazon with this 15% off voucher code £59.59 uh, and 59 pence for this one. Uh, or oh, it was something like that, I'm not sure if it was exactly 59 pence. Uh, two batteries there. Uh, then we've got a box in here which says accessories. So if I lift this out, actually, but I need two hands for this one. Yeah, that box is empty, so I'll take it out of the way because it's taking up quite a lot of space. There we go, now we can get into this accessories box. We've got a little uh, hand strap with the looks thing, so I can uh, press start and that without having to refer to the camera. Yeah, it, I believe this is the same one I had before, but there is a few updates like a microphone and stuff. Uh, yeah, microphone, that's very cool. It is a 4K camera as well. We've got like a uh, adhesive strap there. A little charger. Uh, some fixed things just to uh, attach it on things. Uh, well, let's just start pulling stuff out. This looks to be a bike mount. This is what you use to attach it to a chest strap. Uh, this looks to be, uh, not sure, is it a waterproof case? So we'll start pouring it out. Yeah, loads of attachments. Got another sort of case for it. This is the battery charger then, if I can get it out. There we go. Um, yeah, this is battery charger, so you can charge two at once. Uh, yeah, and that's quite useful having two, so um, when it starts to run out of battery, just swap it over, uh, and that's not a problem. Yeah, uh, I'm not too sure what this is. Uh, right, I think what's next then is if we pop the cover off of this for a minute. Why is that in half? Oh, it's meant to be like that. Uh, right, I've got to figure out how to open this. Let's have a look in this quick start guide, shall we? It's got a package list. Oh, that's the camera frame, and this is a dust proof, uh, dust proof cover. Um, yeah, waterproof case mount. Uh, trying to still can't work out what this is. I think it's actually just like a spare um, backing for it. Yeah, it is. It's just a spare one in case this one breaks, I guess. That's quite good. So they give you that. And then if I go to the next page here, so it's on the back. Uh, yeah, I think I need to go to the user manual. So there is an app you get for this uh, camera uh, on your phone. So it's a lot easier than having to swap SD cards around. Uh, so you can charge the camera directly or charge the batteries.
Yeah, right, so I'll uh, just pop this lid off for a second. There we go. I hope I've not broke it there. No, I've not. Okay, it sort of swivels like that. Then imagine this will sort of lift off. Oh, there's like a backing on, so we'll take that off. Very satisfying doing that when you get anything that's new. Oh, there we go. It's securely held in there. And pop the little camera out. Yes, this is the main camera then. Um, I wonder if it's got any charge in it. Now it's got this little cover on the screen. That's that taken off there. Right, I'll uh, have to charge that up, I think, then. Um, but yeah, so I'll take quickly the accessories before I do that, get this uh, battery charger out of it. As you can see there. Um, yeah, so what I'll do then is I'll charge it up and I'll see you once it's charged. So it is actually, uh, well, I've just put a battery in it and that's all you needed to do. You didn't need to charge it because if you've not got a battery in it, it's not going to work. So that was a bit stupid on my end. But uh, yeah, it's working now. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's coming up in loads of videos. This camera is. I'm going to be using it for filming on-ride POVs at loads of parks. Uh, hopefully including uh, Plopslander Pan in a few days' time. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to record there. Uh, yeah, so the camera is working fine, apart from trying to get this little screen on at the front. Uh, yeah, so it advertises this little screen at the front, sort of. If you want to film yourself, you can see yourself in it. But uh, I'm not sure how to get that to work. Um, maybe if we go to settings, uh, your voice record, video resolution. But there's nothing about uh, how to get that thing on, so I'm not sure. just have to play them out with it I guess uh, anyway it doesn't really matter because uh, you sort of can get a good idea of what you're filming uh, but yeah it's just a bit annoying really uh, right uh, moving on from the actual camera then onto some of the accessories um, yeah if we have a look here then uh, we've got a couple of these adhesive mounts these are for your helmets or your car or bike whatever um, you can stick this on but they are curved um, so yeah do be aware of that but uh, that's quite useful so you've got two of those a uh, little charger here, uh, the actual like um, bracket thing, if you want to have the camera without the big waterproof case you can just pop it in this, um, but yeah I prefer to have it in the big bulkier case. This is a bicycle mount or anything like a scooter or skateboard I guess that you can um, mount this onto so that's quite useful, I suppose you could use that on roller coaster railings if you've got permission from the park. Uh, this is a little, um, not too sure what this is actually, I think it's so you can uh, have it swivel uh, on a mount. This is to go to a chest harness, that I'll show you in a minute. Uh, yeah, this is to uh, have it rotated the other way, so like you could have it uh, like this, um, if you want to have it sideways basically, that's an easy way to explain that. These do the same thing, so there's three of those, just different sizes. Um, another uh, chest mount thing, a uh, bit of a different design this one is I think, yeah. Uh, and then the other one is just this, yeah, so that uh, other thing, it's like a swivel, um, so you can rotate the camera, just like uh, that if it will slot in there. There, so you, we have to rotate it and bend it up and down and stuff, so that's really useful. So it does come with quite a lot of accessories, I'll just go and get my... Um, mounted uh, harness quickly if I clip this uh, and this came with the uh, chest harness actually I'll use the ones that come with this camera uh, this was about 4 99 on Amazon I think so uh, yeah nice and cheap on there uh, if I clip this in yeah it's a bit stubborn at first but I imagine that'll uh, get a bit looser I'll pop the camera in its case a second turn it on and this is what I use to start recording uh, then I can uh, pop this in there uh, it's tilted down at first and to fix that you need an extending thing for it and that is literally just one of these uh, so yeah all I have to do is unscrew this pop that in there so yeah as I said I've had one very similar to this if not the same one before so uh, that's why I've already got an idea of what to do with it. 
There is still quite a lot of differences uh, between this and the one I had before. Then this should allow me, yeah, so I don't have to have that uh, bent at an angle. And all I've got to do is uh, get this little thing here. Just get that to stay in there a minute. Screw that in there. Keep it nice and tight. Uh, yeah, so that, oh, that's not tight enough. You know, when that's so tight, you really got to get it as far as it will go. Uh, by the looks of things, it's a really good camera, and stay tuned for future videos to see what it looks like, uh, like the quality and stuff. But yeah, I'm quite happy with this. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, which will probably be from uh, Japan.